So you've lost your Android phone by, say, leaving it in a car, or maybe a game of hide and seek has gone terribly wrong, or it's just straight up been stolen, which totally sucks. But the good news is there is a chance that you can find it again. Now, if you are using an Android phone, it's pretty likely that you're already signed into it with a Google account. If that's the case, then Find My Device should already be active and you can go to android.com slash find to see your phone's last location on a map. But the easiest way is to Google Find My Phone when you're signed into Gmail or Google itself and the same thing pops up in your search results. Because ain't nobody got time to remember URLs when you've just lost your phone. Both these options give you a couple of ways to help locate the device, like ringing the phone even if it's on silent. This is also super helpful if you've lost it somewhere around the house or the office. And you can also see what Wi-Fi network it's connected to and how much battery is left if the phone is turned on. If the phone is turned off or the battery is completely dead, that's obviously not gonna work. So time for plan B. Click the secure device option and your phone will enter lockdown mode. You can choose to flash a message on the screen in case your thief maybe has a change of heart or sign out of your Google account altogether. But if it's really gone, the next option is to completely wipe it from the face of the earth. Obviously there is no self-destruct mode, but you can at least clear your data. Remember, if you do this, then you won't be able to locate the phone on a map, and if you ever find it again, everything's gone. So I hope you have backups. Okay, so those are all the Google options, but for the Samsung Galaxy owners out there, you have an alternative, but you have to set it up before your phone goes AWOL. It's called Find My Mobile, and you can find it in Settings, then look under Biometrics and Security. You'll also need to sign into your Samsung account to turn it on. Once it is on, go to findmymobile.samsung.com and choose your device. There are a couple of extra features here like being able to force a remote backup or stopping a would-be thief from turning the phone off. If it turns out your phone has been stolen and you can see its location on a map, please use common sense and don't try and track it down yourself. Instead, go to local law enforcement. And it's worth contacting your carrier and insurance, if you have it, to let them know the phone has been stolen and work out the next steps. So there you have it. I hope one of these tips will help you find your lost Android phone in your hour of need. If you are an iPhone user, I don't know why you watched to the end of the video, but you are in luck because we do have a guide on how to find your lost iPhone on CNET as well.